So in this video, we're going to look at how added sugar affects our heart and what we can do to curb our sweet habits. Hello everyone, welcome, and this is Dr. Just Breathe Singh, and let's get started on the effects of added sugar on your heart. So let's start with the basics. Sugar occurs naturally in a lot of foods we eat every day, like fruits, vegetables, grains, and dairy. Consuming those foods with the natural sugar is okay because it has a lot of fiber, essential nutrients, and antioxidants. But the problem really occurs when we start eating a lot of added sugars in our diet. That's the sugar a lot of manufacturers add to their food to increase the flavoring or increase the shelf life of the food. In America, the top sources of added sugar are like soft drinks, flavored drinks, cookies, cakes, and a lot of processed foods. But it's also present in a lot of foods that we may not perceive as sweet, like soups, breads, cured meat, and ketchup. So according to the National Cancer Institute, an adult male eats about 28 teaspoons or 384 calories of added sugar a day. And that's a big problem because added sugar has been linked to increased deaths from heart disease. In a study published in JAMA Internal Medicine, people who got 17 to 21 percent of the calories from added sugar had a 38 percent higher chance of having cardiovascular disease than people who got about 8 percent of the calories from added sugar. Now, if you're liking the content of this video and want to see more videos just like this, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It helps the channel grow. So how does the added sugar affect the heart? Well, the mechanism is not completely known, but a lot of added sugar overloads the liver, which usually converts carbohydrates to fat. Now, over time, this can lead to accumulation of fat, can eventually lead to fatty liver disease, which can subsequently lead to diabetes and heart disease. Also, eating too much added sugar can increase your blood pressure as well as inflammation in your body, both of which are pathological pathways to heart disease as well. An excess sugar intake, especially from sugary beverages, can lead to weight gain. Now, liquid calories are not as filling as solid calories, so you're able to take in more sugar and not feel full when you're taking in these sugary drinks, which can lead to this weight gain. Now, all these effects of the added sugar that I talked about, including high blood pressure, inflammation, diabetes, fatty liver, can all raise your risk of stroke and heart disease. Sugar is actually not a required nutrient in our diet. So what is the right amount of added sugar that you can consume? The American Heart Association suggests that women take in no more than 100 calories, which is 6 teaspoons or 24 grams of added sugar in a day. For men, they recommend 150 calories, which is 9 teaspoons or 36 grams of sugar in a day, which is like one can of soda a day, which will have all those 36 grams of sugar. Reading food labels is your best way to monitor your added sugar intake. Look for stuff like brown sugar, corn sweetener, corn syrup, fruit juice concentrates, high fructose corn syrup, honey, malt sugar, molasses and anything ending with OS, OSC, like fructose, glucose, and so on. So there you have it, the sweet danger of sugar and how we can curb our sweet habit. Remember, consuming too much sugar can be a threat to our cardiovascular health. So let's be mindful of our sugar intake. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.